it's Jamie here of Jamie's Faces on behalf of facepaintingtips.com to show you this tribal mask design. Special thanks to my model Cassidy. So I'm starting off with some Paradise Light Pink and I've applied that to a sponge and we're covering the eyelid around the eye a little bit and up the eyebrow bone on both sides. <clears throat> Now I'm gonna load up the sponge with some pearl yellow by Tag. Such a shimmery, beautiful color. Great coverage and yet it sort of resembles gold because of the pearl in it. So here I'm covering the area between the eyebrows and the inner half of the eyelid. And just blending a little bit around the edges. Cheekbones. Now I've got my brand new Pearl Teal by Tag. Absolutely love it. And I've put a spot right on the eyebrow bone. And then I'm flipping my sponge over to blend it in. And I'm gonna go ahead and add it right under the cheekbone and pull it down along the cheek and then blend that in as well. These three colors are so great together because wherever the teal blends with the yellow, you get sort of the green effect and wherever the pink blends with the teal, you get sort of a purpley effect. So going ahead and applying iridescent glitter over the whole color base. And now with the number six round brush, now I placed the brush directly above the inner corner of the eye above the eyebrow and pulled up at a 45 degree angle to the center point. Right after that, I started about a half an inch below and pulled two curved lines out, echoing the eyebrow line. And then from the ends of those, another two lines coming back toward the bottom of the other ones. And then from that same point, a nice big C line that just ends at the um, outer corner of the eye. Now I'm adding a C curve to both sides, starting very thin, pressing thick, and then releasing to thin again. Now I'm gonna come in and do another C curve going in the opposite direction. And here it helps me to start with the end of the curve so that I get them going in two different directions, otherwise it gets a little confusing. Again, I'm starting with the end of this one so that I can have the beginning of it going in the opposite direction as the other one. Now I'm just add, flick, flicking the brush and adding some really thin little detail lines coming off of that second curve and echoing the back line of the first one. Now we're adding a longer spiral that begins on top of that first C curve goes parallel to that large curve that ends in the eye and, and comes on around above the eyebrow. <clears throat> and the same thing on the other side. And here I realize I went a little bit low on that one, but I think it's, it's still okay. <laughs> Gotta be very careful about symmetry with this tribal masks. So there was a gap there in the design, so I went ahead and put another spiral on each side. And now we're placing the brush in between the two C-curves on each side and giving a, a wavy line that dips down and then comes back up and over and ends in a thin point. And then just below that, another one that's parallel, but then curves away from the nose on the bottom. And then I added a third one on top of that and then connected them with a vertical line. Now I'm going ahead and lining the lids. Cassie's a little bit older and she's been doing this for me <laughs> a lot, so she doesn't mind that I do that. Um, but she's a good sport. <laughs> and I'm giving it just just a little bit more um, length and along the sides by doing two curls. One of the curls um, goes in one direction and the other spirals in the opposite direction. Now
Now with my number six, I'm going ahead and adding dots. Starting at the end of these final lines from thick to thin toward the center point between the eyes. And then I'm just kind of looking around and seeing where the design lacks interest and adding dots. So up by these long curves on the top and putting dots from the outside in toward the center from large to small. And then a little cluster of dots down by the spirals on each side. And then again from large to small curving up the sides. Now I've got a number eight filbert brush and I'm loaded up with the paradise pink and filling in that diamond in the center of the mask. And now I've loaded up with the pearl yellow and I'm blending only the top of the diamond shape. And now with the number six round and the pearl teal, I'm adding three jewel shapes, three round, large one, a medium size and a very small one. And then I'm taking that pearl teal and just outlining the exterior of the mask. So around the curves. And I'm not outlining meticulously, I'm, I'm doing it as an accent. So just sort of here and there. And now for every little girl's favorite part, the lipstick. Here I'm just using a blend of a few different pinks. Here I'm going ahead and adding the adhesive jewels, a couple of pink ones um, on the swirls and a blue diamond shaped one in the center. And I decided to give more definition to these three round jewel shapes, so I'm just outlining them thinly with a number six round brush. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tribal mask design, and I hope you can use it in the future. Happy painting!